The topic of this video is determining algebraically if a function is even, odd, or neither. Okay, let's solve this problem. So we've already got the green. The green part has been given to us. Now we're going to do the light blue. So we've got f of negative x equals, everywhere we see x, we're going to put negative x. And if the x that we're replacing has an exponent or a multiplier, then we're going to put it in parentheses. So we'll have 7 parenthesis negative x close parenthesis to the fourth minus 8 parenthesis negative x close parenthesis to the second. Following order of operations, exponents have to happen before the multiplication or the subtraction. All right, so let's see if we can work out what we get for those two boxes. All right, in this box, we have a negative raised to an even power, which is a positive, and we have x raised to the fourth power, so positive x to the fourth. In this box, we have a negative raised to a even power, which is a positive, and x raised to the second power, which is x squared, positive x squared. Okay, next we do the multiplication part of order of operations. So we get 7x to the fourth minus 8x squared. And then finally we do the subtraction. But these are unlike terms that cannot be combined, so this represents our final answer for finding f of negative x. Okay, we are ready to make our comparison. So is the green equal to the light blue? Is f of x, which is given in the problem, equal to f of negative x, which we just solved. Well, the answer is yes, these are the same. And so that makes this an even function. And we can write our conclusion, f of x is an even function. Now you might have noticed that once I determined that it was an even function, I did not test to see if it was an odd function. And you might arrive at the conclusion that if something is even, it cannot be odd, and if something is odd, it cannot be even. It turns out there is exactly one function that is both even and odd, and it is the function whose points consist exclusively of points that sit directly on top of the x-axis. For example, f of x equals zero y equals zero is the equation of the x-axis. The x-axis as an equation is both an even function and an odd function at the same time. However, we will not be giving you the equation f of x equals zero and asking you to determine if it is even or odd. And for that reason, once you determine that something is even, you can stop. You do not have to then check to see if it is odd.